It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. And welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's schools where we bring together outstanding elementary and middle school students and find out about their science literacy. See if you can keep up with them today. Today is a special day. We started out with 16 middle schools. This is the county championship final. One of the two schools you're about to meet have won county championships previously. One in 2021, one in 2016. One of them is about to become a repeat champion. Let's meet those teams right now. First from Greenbelt, would you please say hello to Xiao Ting. Captain is Miss Livia there in the center and Timothy is here. Tim, nice to have you back as well. They'll be playing against Robert Goddard Montessori, represented by Caspian. Nice to have you here, Caspian. Sylvia is their captain and Anne rounds out that threesome over there. We congratulate all three, all three on both teams there. And we have medals today, gold medals for our winners and silver medals for our runners up. And just to let you know, in the run up to this, our score was 350 on one team and the other had 360. So these are elite players. Here in the Science Bowl, if you're not familiar with us, we have six categories of questions. Let's share those with you right now. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems. We'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And the Science Bowl game board, you can see questions arrayed from 5 to 25 points. Easy on the left, increasingly more difficult as we get to 25 on the far right. Both of our teams start out at 50 points, no penalties for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, we will have a new county champ. Let's go over and make sure everything works properly. Let's go to that red team. Livia, would you try that buzzer for us? It looks A-OK -okay to me. And how about Sylvia at the green team? It too seems to be working just fine. We're going to have a great game here today. Great teams, everybody is on their game, and I promise to be on mine as well. Let's have a great game. We go alphabetically G before R, so Livia, let's play the bowl. Um, let's get physical for 15. Physical for 15 points to start our game is a multiple choice question. A MHO is a unit of electrical conductance, while an MOH... Resistance. Greenfield? No, it's not mineral hardness. Um, mineral hardness? Mineral hardness, absolutely right. Dissolvability, hardness, or age, and it is indeed the Mohs scale of hardness. Well done. All right, thank you, Xiao Ting. Go again, red. Let's turn the red light out over there, please. Thank you. Go ahead, Livia. Green things for 20? Green for 20. Trees don't talk, but they do tell us what two things about themselves based on the number and size of the rings they produce. Age. No. Um, age and the amount of rainfall? Yeah, we will take that. The environmental conditions there. Thank you, Tim. Good assist. Go. Red. Uh, zoo parade for 20? Zoo for 20. In the heat of the summer, some snakes and rodents enter a period equivalent to hibernation called estivation. Hmm. Um, they hibernate in the summer? Mm, not estivation or, does or. mean that. Let me finish the question for Robert Goddard. In the heat of the summer, some snakes and rodents enter a period equivalent to hibernation called estivation. It's when they are in what D initial state? Dormancy. Dormant. That's it, Sylvie. Good. Go green. Uh, body systems for 20. Body for 20. While light travels at 186,000 miles per second, these in your body only travel at 80 feet per second, which is still pretty fast. 
green belt. Um, the electric pulses in your nervous system. You got that right, absolutely right. Which is why when you stub your toe, you know it's gonna take a couple seconds and then it finally hurts as it travels up there at 80 feet per second. Good answer, go red. Um, Dateline for 25. Dateline for 25, big one in the cat, that category is as follows. Grocery carts, grocery carts are now being fitted with sensors that can detect a heart ab abnormality known as atrial fibrillation. A condition that can lead to one of these S initialed events. Robert Goddard. Passing to Ann. A stroke. A stroke, absolutely right. Good, thank you, Ann. Go green. Score right now, Eight, 105 green belt, 95 Robert Goddard, advantage green. Sylvie? Green things for 25. Green for 25 is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. Since magnolia trees, that's beautiful, appeared before many other flowering plants, they evolved flowers before there were because there were no bees at that time. They are pollinated instead by these insects that come in more varieties than any other. Greenbelt. Um, beetles? Beetles, yes, beetles are the pollinators for those wonder. They look like they should have a wonderful scent, but they don't in most cases. Good, thank you, Tim, go. Potpourri for 25. Potpourri, 25 points. All across Siberia and the far north of Canada, this P initialed material. Greenbelt. Um, permafrost. Permafrost, absolutely right. It is beginning, beginning to melt and revealing fossils of birds and mam mammals and insects. Absolutely right. Good. Go. Um, physical for 25. Physical for 25 points. The Environmental Protection Agency has ruled that children under the age of six should not be exposed to older buildings that contain dust from this toxic... Asbestos? Not asbestos. No. Good try. Should not be exposed... The EPA says children under six should not be exposed to older buildings that contain dust with this toxic chemical element with the symbol PB. L lead? Lead is right. Yes, indeed. Good comeback. Asbestos was a reasonable uh, uh, offering over there, Anne. Thank you. Go, Olivia. Um, body for 25? Body for 25 points. To attend school here in Prince George's County, you were all required to get a DPT vaccination. The D and the P represent diphtheria and pertussis, another name for whooping cough, while the T stands for tetanus. green belt. Um, tetanus. Tetanus, absolutely right, also known as lockjaw. Good answer, good go. Um, zoo parade for 25. Zoo for 25 points. The mosquito, the deadliest animal in the world, doesn't kill people outright like tigers and sharks, oh no. Instead, it passes along a parasite when it bites you making it known by this V initialed word. Green belt. Viral? Not viral, no. Since the insect, since the mosquito is passing along that parasite, when it bites you, it is known by this V initialed word. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I have no clue. It's a yeah. vector. It's a vector, a vector. The buzzer has sounded. We've come to the end of the first round. We use up a lot of the high point value questions there. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Our score right now, Greenbelt 205. Robert Goddard, 95. Plenty more science polls straight ahead. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. We're all trying to have a good time here, even though the stakes are rather high and both these teams really want to be county champs, but uh, they are already champs in many of our eyes for having made it this far in the competition, emerging as the final two from our original 16 middle schools. You probably met some of these young people before if you watched previous programs, but let's uh, reintroduce them to you and let's go first to Greenbelt. And Livia, tell us all the important things we need to know about Greenbelt Middle School. Um, Greenbelt Middle School has a lot of language classes you can take. Um, we have a tag program and an honors program, and we also have CRI. Wonderful. And tell us about some of the VIPs there, the very important people other than yourselves. Um, we have our coaches, Ms. Pogunson and Dr. Pitpit, and we have our principal, Mr. Clement. Wonderful. All very proud of you. Alternates on your team, Olivia? Um, our alternates are Joseph and Nusaiba, although Nusaiba could not make it today. We appreciate the work that they put in and all the work you have done. Uh, tell us how you prepared for this game. Did you do anything special knowing you were coming to the semis and the finals, Livia? Um, not really. It was pretty standard run-of-the-mill training. Yeah. Well, you're just good students, and uh, obviously it, you speak a lot of work behind the scenes. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Let's talk to uh, 
shall ping. Yes? All right. Uh, here for the first time. Yeah, you were an alternate for four. Tell us about yourself. Why'd you want to be on the show? Um, I've always entertained the idea of going on Signs Bowl. I've had friends who were on the team in previous years, and I watched their games kind of afterwards to kind of like support them. Yes. And, I thought it and now here you team. are. Yep. This is your moment, and uh, you're doing a fantastic job. And we're happy that you're here on the show and being part of this team here. What do you want to do someday? Um, well, I often ask students that. I want, I'm thinking of becoming an architectural engineer because mm -hmm. I think it will be interesting to apply kind of STEM concepts to the art-related aspects of, of um, construction, like architecture. It's interesting. You know, you're living through, you are all living through this era of artificial intelligence. Everything that used to be, where everything is turned upside down now. And jobs we once envisioned, uh, we might not be able to do anymore because of, the, of what AI can do. So uh, you've got to be adaptable, and it sounds like you are. You're ready to do that. Tip, nice to have you here. Uh, your brother was here before, and you're part of a family tradition there. Tell us what you like about Science Bowl, Tim. Um, <coughs> Hope you like it. Yeah, I've just always liked STEM subjects, and um, Science Bowl is an opportunity for me to learn a lot and to apply that in competition. I like what you said, learn a lot, because when you come here, we want to know what you know, but we also hope you learn things from some of the questions we ask and the answers that people give here. You're a great player, Tim. Nice to have you back. Let's go over to Robert Goddard and Sylvie. Everything there is to know about Robert Goddard Montessori. What do we don't want to know? Um, so our principal is Ms. Womack, and our co coaches are Ms. Dupre and Ms. Uh, Ms. Powell. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and our alternates are Ida. Help her Eric. Out, Caspian, no, Ida, answer. Eric, Lex, and Mabel. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, it's a lot to remember. You don't have any uh, cue cards. There's no teleprompter for you. You've got to remember all this stuff. And uh, you, you have a lot of poise over there. You're, you're a great player, Sylvie. Uh, tell us about um, what you do in your spare time. So I like drawing and I really like reading. That's the main thing I do, honestly, in my spare time. Yeah. And I also ride my bike sometimes. Oh, that's great. Boy, there's nothing like it. It's like a magic carpet. Yeah. Just always make sure you have your helmet on. Yes, you know, sometimes course. I see people out there and they're, you know, they, they're living in a fantasy world. They don't think anything will happen to them, you know. No gloves, no helmet, nothing. No. Great sport. Playing a great game today. And tell us about, uh, you're a literary young lady. Uh, you want to be a, a writer someday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What have you written so far if you've written something? I mean, not like anything like in particular. I just like writing short stories mostly. It's usually based off like things that happened in my real life, but yeah. usually more fantastical characters or things that would just make me laugh. I just do it for fun. That's important in life. You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. I'm always interested in the, the book section of the post on Sunday. All of the books, and you think, I wanna read. There's no time to read all the things you want to read, you know, but there's so much out there you gotta pick and choose. Caspian, tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? So, um, I really like um, running and well, you know, just science trivia, looking at it and all that. And um, I also do a lot of theater, and I do photography a lot. That's great. Is there a cross-country team at Robert Goddard? Uh, no, there's not a team at Robert Goddard. Do you run with a group? Uh, yes, I do. I run, um, for my track team, I run with uh, Glenn Arden at the Sports and Learning Complex. Mm -hmm. And for my cross country team, I run with the Marion Milers in the C CYO um, league. Yeah. Are we gonna say, you hope to run a, uh, a marathon one day? Uh, maybe someday. I'm maybe. not sure I have the yeah. interest for that yet. Just build up to it. Yeah, I admire what you do. All right, let's get back to the game here. 95 for Robert Carter, 205 for Greenbelt. Some points left here, some high value points. And let's go to the red team. Livia, you were last correct. Um, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Your eye's cornea is designed to bend the incoming light, a process known as this. Refraction. Green belt. Refraction. You got that. It is indeed refraction. All right, go. Red. Um, Dateline science for 20. Dateline, 20 points. Multiple choice. This astronaut, the first American to go into space. Alan Shepard. It is Alan Shepard, yes. And you know what he did when he was up there on the moon? He hit a golf ball. He hit a golf ball. That was going to be part of this. Alan Shepard, Gus Grissom, or Neil Armstrong. You got it right away. Nicely done. Go red. Potpourri for 20. Potpourri, 20 points. 
when we were all wearing masks, the friction of the mask with our face often caused red marks and blemishes, problems that this kind of D initial doctor. Um, a dermatologist? A dermatologist. Dermatologist, yeah. They, uh, they did land office business, a lot of people chafing from those masks. Good, go. Green things for 15? Green for 15 points. Forensic ecologists often use these plant reproductive parts produced by the anthers as evidence. Um, pollen? Pollen. They use pollen grains as evidence. They can date things um, and try to solve crimes. Good. Go. Um, zoo parade for 15? Zoo for 15. This short-lived mammal in America's only marsupial has a body temperature. Sylvie. Possum? Possum. You get that right. Not, cannot contract rabies because its body temperature is so low. Green. Body systems for 15. Body for 15. I'm dating myself. The TV show called The Six Million Dollar Man featured a badly injured astronaut who was rebuilt with an arm, two legs, and an eye that made him super fast and super strong, which is why he was also called this B-initialed man. Green belt. Bionic? He was the bionic man. Yes, he was. Good. Go. Um, Dateline for 15. Dateline, 15 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor, please, in the studio. Recently discovered at Laurel, Maryland's Dinosaur Park, which I hope you've been to, was one of the biggest fossil finds ever in the park's history. It was one of these bones, the longest single bone in most animals' bodies. Green belt. The femur? It's a femur. You got that right. It's a femur bone from a dinosaur. Go red. Um, potpourri for 15. Potpourri, 15 points. Multiple choice. Since the Roomba vacuum cleaner operates independently, it could be described by which of the following adjectives? Autophagic, autologous, or autonomous? Autonomous? Autonomous, absolutely right. It can, it can take care of itself. Yeah, good. Go, red. Uh, green things for 10? Green for 10. While forest fires do return carbon to the forest floor, they destroy much of this important chemical element, the most abundant gas in our atmosphere. Rainbow. Nitrogen? Nitrogen, yeah, four fifths. Four fifths nitrogen. Go. Body for 10? Body for 10. There are two types of diabetes. Type 1, where the body makes little or none of this hormone. Insulin? Insulin. Type 2 is when the body can't use that supply of hormone, that insulin properly. Go. Zoo parade for 10? Zoo for 10. A popular meme says that these tasty, Ten-legged creatures are actually bugs. Crabs. Crabs? Not crabs. Nope. A meme says that these tasty ten-legged creatures are actually bugs. Lobsters? <laughs> Smaller. Uh. Shrimp. Shrimp. Uh. They're looking for shrimp there. Shrimps is bugs. When I saw that. Oh, what the heck? Shrimps is bugs. All right. Go, Red. Um, let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. This C initial chemical reaction causes flames. Combustion. Combustion? Combustion, yeah, that's it. Good go. Um, Dateline for 10. Dateline for 10 points. On July 31st this year, the United States stopped the production of these kinds of light bulbs invented by Thomas Edison. All right. Well, come I'm on, daughter. Caspian. Uh, incandescent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, go. With an eye. Uh, science potpourri for 10. Potpourri, 10 points. After carbon dioxide, the most prevalent greenhouse gas is this M initialed. Methane. Methane, yeah. Go ahead, Sylvie. Green things for five. Green for five. People allergic to gluten would not want to eat this grain based. I don't know, actually. Okay. Wheat? You say it? Wheat? I don't know. What's the name of the cereal? Oh, uh, Cheerios? I don't know. Yeah. No, Cheerios. Green belt? People allergic to the gluten would not want to eat this grain-based cereal known as the breakfast of champions. Wheaties. Wheaties. All right. Go again, please, Green. So, Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five. 
Ducks, geese, and swans are all rendered flightless for part of the year when they undergo this process. Yes. Molting? They're molting. Yes, it did. Good. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. I did not know this. If you donate one of these renal organs. Kidney? Renal, Kidney? Kidney. If you do, the other one will increase in size 50 to 60 percent. It will hypertrophy. It will adapt. It will readjust to the missing kidney. Go again. Uh, uh, potpourri for five? Potpourri for five points. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy Wuzzy. That's hard to say because it requires you to twist your what? Tongue? Yeah, it's a tongue twister. Good, go. Let's get physical for five. Physical for five points. While other planets, like Neptune and Uranus, have them, Saturn still has the most. Rings? Yes, yeah, Saturn is still the lord of the... Yes, indeed. Last question of the game. All right, that is the five-point question in Dateline Science. In Europe, it is very hard to get poisoned, get food poisoning from raw eggs, because all the hens in Europe have been vaccinated against this S-initialed... Salmonella. Salmonella, that's it. And that's the end of the game. We'll be back and tell you all about our winner and our runner-up. Don't go away. Well, this is it. A wonderful end to our middle school science bowl season. And we have a repeat chap. Both of these schools had that opportunity, but with a final score of 370 to 140, Greenbelt is our new county champion. <laughs> They're sitting there with their gold medals on. And Livia, tell us who's standing back there. Um, these are our coaches, Ms. Pagunson and Dr. Pitt Pitt, our principal, Mr. Clement, and one of our alternates, Joseph who is Timothy's brother, by the way. And over there we have our silver medalist. Boy, is this well earned. A team that is always here in the mix. They give it their all. Sylvie, congratulations. Nice round of applause for Robert Goddard. <laughs> Sylvie, tell us who's standing back there. Our coach, Mr. Prey, and our alternates, Lex and Mabel. Wonderful. Thank you all, and I have to thank all of you for watching, and hope you'll join us again. Our elementary season is about to begin, and uh, Stave's here. I'm the host of this program, and for 38 years I've enjoyed doing this, and we hope this show will continue. It'll only happen if you guys keep watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.